very good afternoon all of you so many of you are aware about nepra resource management private limited correct so we are i mean those who are not aware so we are uh, a gujarat based company and we are managing around 560 ton per day we have almost employed more than 800 people uh, 600 plus are on labor contract and <clears throat> we are setting up the mrfs in the country as of now we have set up five mrfs starting from 300 tons india's largest facility in indore <clears throat> second largest in gujarat then second largest in the pune and then jamnagar and wapi we are managing we are almost managing around 560 ton per day and <clears throat> definitely what my earlier colleagues have you know told regarding the requirement so nepra is more than 150 crore ton over company so definitely this facility has to be increased uh, <clears throat> to set up the mrf we basically need to import a lot of machineries uh, also we have to source from domestically we need this money to you know ca capitalize to repay these uh, the, you know capital equipments now because of those capitals are imported from the finance we need also working capital to uh, i mean the my earlier colleague rama kanji has already said that we need to hedge the uh, euro or dollars for that also we need a lot of working capitals and for that such kind of facilities will definitely help us also when you look at the uh, setting of this context so it is required to understand the uh, you know business model and what the economics will come out from every different sources so maybe from biomedical would be a different uh, business economic models mrf is absolutely a different economic models so mainly like you know we source material from corporations household and localities and we sell it to the uh, recyclers now the selling prices are always linked with the uh, the market prices like fuel prices papers you know plastics they are all linked with the market prices and again when we source and when we sell it to third parties the whole the price matrix is changed so we have to also look at those scenarios also because it is not like pharma or automobile or you know fmcg companies you have standard database available so that you can immediately analyze all the cash flows and all these ratios and everything but this is completely a different chain supply chain so whenever i mean you never know that uh, you know what would be the tomorrow's waste so even in our facilities in indore in pune we cannot predict that yes uh, tomorrow would be such kind of a, you know composition of the waste will be receiving and that's the uniqueness in this business so you have to also factor those kind of you know business model also you can you know uh, go through those models and then only you know support us that would be helpful for all of us uh, as all of you know that we are we are planning to set up more than 20 MRFs. We are also setting up the value added facilities that which will convert our own waste into the you know granulation and sell it to the uh, brands owner so that they can also you know be, uh, sell it there and ultimately we can complete the circular economy processes. Every MRF, I mean minimum uh, 100 ton MRF will cost us minimum 25 crore of rupees of investments, capex investments. Plus, we need working capital investments. Also, like 300 ton facilities need around 40 crores of capex investment plus working capitals. So these are the quite high level numbers which I am sharing of uh, in front of the you know GIZ and uh, you know SIDB team that you can think over on those lines and you know support us. Uh, in the past, as a CFO, that I've been you know in touch with lot of nationalized banks, lot of PEs, lot of VCs, and no, it is very important to explain them a model. I mean, that was the biggest challenge that always we face. So we have to explain them the entire model. Everywhere the composition is different. If I talk about municipal waste, the composition is different. If I talk about some household waste, its composition is different. Explaining the business model is one of the challenges and you also look at those numbers properly so that you can, you know, finance us in a right manner. Again, again I'm saying that 25 crore of rupees of investments is bare minimum for setting up the one MRF. Our Honorable Prime Minister has already said the context that we need 4,500 plus MRF to be set up in you know coming coming years. So understand the requirement of the finance would be huge uh, setting up the you know 4,500 MRFs in futures. So from a NEPRAS perspective, definitely we would uh, like to you know uh, go into more detail of such kind of facilities. There are facilities like such guarantee schemes are available from the foreign lenders, but it is expensive. We have already discussed with a couple of foreign lenders and these facilities costing more than 2 to 3%. Uh, 
wherein you know uh, apart from the interest rates so these facilities if would be a lower interest rate lower charges plus the bank cost will help us to you know sustain on a longer term period also like uh, five years uh, you know uh, your facilities would be for five years i would suggest you know six to eight years generally it takes you know help us to grade we have also been in touch with the lot of you know foreign investors they are ready to fund us in foreign currencies the, the problem is the collaterals as a mrf company we never have got our own lands or our own buildings there is the biggest challenge for all of us we always get a land from corporations and for that reason that we cannot provide any hard collateral to the banks so i spoken to many banks nationalized bank top level guys and they are always asking us at least 10% of the you know hard collaterals or maybe you know personal guarantee i think my other colleagues has already asked for the personal guarantees which is very difficult we are executing multiple projects as as we are executing multiple projects everywhere we cannot provide our personal guarantees because it affects uh, one term sheet to another term sheet another term sheet to another term sheet so everywhere we are you know chalking up our our thoughts our innovative ideas uh, through such kind of a processes we our request would be to make such a process that you know it can be easily you know a person can easily understand the the friendlier loan the rate of interest should be lower than the, the you know international market so more uh, people can get the funds from a domestic banks like cdb so this would definitely help us in in terms of uh, you know getting this this kind of facilities thank you so much